Good evening. Today is Saturday, March 20th, 2021. Hope everybody's had a good day. I want to focus today on Jesus and the vernal equinox. Today is the vernal equinox, and Jesus is not only the reason for this Christmas season, he is the reason for every season. According to Genesis 8, 20 through 22, Then Noah built an altar to the Lord, took every clean animal of every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And when the Lord smelled the pleasing odor, the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of man. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I ever again destroy every living creature as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us live to see another vernal equinox. Lord, help us to meditate on your word and to see your hand in all creation and recognize, Lord, that truly. Jesus has a relation to the vernal equinox as he does to everything in creation. In his name we pray. Amen. Over the years, I've had a lot of people try to tell me that the Bible says before the end of time, you won't be able to tell one season from another. Nobody, however, has been able to cite chapter and verse. People swear up and down, oh, it's in there, but they can't find it. Nobody's been able to tell me where it is. And there's a good reason why they can't, because it's not in there. According to Genesis 8.22, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, cold and heat and summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. And uh, March 20th marks the vernal equinox, the first day of spring. Scientists tell us the seasons of the year are caused by a tilt of the earth's axis. During one half of the year, the southern hemisphere is more exposed to the sun than the northern hemisphere. During the other half of the year, the reverse is true. The time of the year when the sun reaches its maximum elevation occurs on the day with the greatest number of daylight hours. This is called the summer solstice, occurs around June the 21st. The time of the year when the sun reaches its lowest elevation occurs around December 21st is called the winter solstice. Almost halfway between these falls the autumnal equinox. So we got two times of the year in which the day and night are equal. On the first Sunday after the full moon, following the vernal equinox, both Roman Catholic and Protestant Christians observe the greatest day of the liturgical year, that is Easter Sunday, the celebration of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The early church saw fit to celebrate the resurrection during the season of the year when from time immemorial the rebirth of nature has been celebrated. Some years, Eastern Orthodox Christians join the rest of Christendom in celebrating Easter on the same day, but this is not always the case. In years when our Easter does not follow the Jewish Passover, an event that originally was held on the first moon after the vernal equinox, celebrating the first harvest of the barley crop, the Orthodox delay their celebration of Easter, sometimes by over a month. There are many biblical references to the idea of the triumph of light over darkness that is symbolized 
so well by this season of the year. Isaiah 58 verse 8 tells us, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, thine health shall break forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. In Matthew 4 verse 16 we read, The people which sat in darkness saw a great light. To them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. In Matthew 4, 5, 14, Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. John 1, 4 through 5 says of Jesus, In him was light. And the life was the light of men. The light shineth in darkness, the darkness comprehendeth it not. Verse 9 of the same chapter, chapter speaks of Jesus as the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 5, the Apostle Paul wrote, You are the children of light and the children of day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. The article entitled The Vernal Equinox, The Ancient and Symbolic Origins of Easter, esoteric scholar and former Jesuit priest Jim Miles wrote, The ancients observed the death of the sun on December 21st, the shortest day of the year, and its rebirth on December 25th. Every day thereafter, the length of each succeeding day's light would increase so that by March 21st, the lengths of daylight and darkness were equal. Thereafter, for the next three months, the sun's light would be in ascendancy, its rays growing stronger and more potent. This is the major theme of the vernal equinox the triumph of light out of darkness and rebirth out of death. The agrarians of antiquity held religious and fertility festivals. These celebrations held the beginning of the new season for planting, of harvesting. To these people, the vernal equinox marked the beginning of the new year. The spring equinox celebrates not only nature's own drama, of rebirth, renewal, and resurrection, but also metaphorically our own spiritual rebirth, renewal, and resurrection. Understanding the ancient and symbolic origins of Easter does not diminish the story of the crucifixion, the death, and resurrection of Jesus the Christ. Rather, it helps us see it in a larger context. The sacred symbolism of the vernal equinox is the sacred journey of each of us, our own crucifixion, our own death, and our own resurrection. According to Isaiah 26, verse 19, Thy dead men shall live, together with my dead body shall they awake and rise. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew as as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. In John 11:25, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. In 1 Corinthians 6, 14, the apostle Paul wrote, God hath both raised up the Lord and will also raise up us by his own power. In 1 Brother, in Philippians 3, verses 10 through 11, the same apostle expressed the following desire, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Thus, it is not hard to see that Jesus is the reason for every season and that the vernal equinox is an allusion to Jesus' resurrection. You know, many of these things, that we're this, this is the first day of spring, we'll hear more about that, about the, the 
plants growing, about the birds singing, and all these other things that go on when nature that's been hibernating comes back to life again. And that's part of the natural cycle. And it's no accident that Jesus' resurrection from the dead is celebrated at the time of year in which the whole theme of resurrection is very important. In my opinion, comparing Jesus' resurrection to these other things doesn't diminish at all. It strengthens it. It gives credence to the, to the reality of Jesus' resurrection. Yes, Jesus rose from the dead. Yes, he, he taught, talked to his disciples after he rose. He spent 40 days on earth. Then he ascended to the Father. And we'll talk about that a little further down the road this year. But And then 10 days after his ascension, uh, his promise was fulfilled when the Holy Spirit came upon the day of Pentecost. God has it all worked out. It's all part of the divine plan. The seasons of the year are part of the divine plan. So we celebrate these things. We recognize these things. So I wish everybody to have a wonderful vernal equinox in whatever way you might celebrate. Again, Jesus is the reason for the season. So if you want to know the full meaning of the vernal equinox, I invite you to turn to Christ. I invite you to make him Lord of your life. And then this season and every season will be so much more meaningful to you. Have a wonderful day, wonderful spring, wonderful vernal equinox. In the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen.